Assalamu alaikum. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Respected viewers, brothers and sisters in Islam, peace and blessings of Allah be upon you all. Welcome to Moles and Minutes. This is Muhammad Ali. And now we are to talk about arrogance. We have all come across those people, people who we can never stand and understand. Their overwhelming self-love is very hard to ignore and comprehend. Arrogant individuals seem to be very confident and strive on any attention, whether it was negative or positive. Arrogance is greatly condemned in Islam because it literally goes against the basic idea of Islam, which is treating everyone equally. When arrogance is left untreated, it will, without a doubt, develop into being untreatable. This is the reason behind many of the sins that man commits. An individual's arrogance can blow their vision of what's wrong and right and they will constantly view their opinions to be correct while everyone else's is wrong or incorrect. Arrogance stems from many different factors. One could be the increase in wealth or gaining knowledge. The messenger of Allah peace be upon him and his progeny was sitting with a rich person and a poor person entered and sat next to his rich brother in Islam. When he sat down, the rich person tucked his clothing and at that time, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, and his progeny protested and asked him why would he do such a thing. He immediately became regretful and said that there is something in me that forces me to do these bad actions. Arrogance wasn't him. He said that he is regretful for his actions and to make it up, he gave half of his belongings to his poor brother in Islam. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, and his progeny asked the poor person if he accepted that and he said, No, because I'm afraid that if I take it, I will do the same thing to another poor person. When a human being sees himself for what he really is, arrogance will truly not exist. Imam Ali alayhi salam said, I am surprised about the person who is arrogant. At the very beginning, he was an unclean simon, and at the end he will be decomposed body. And between these two, he is good for nothing. Al Imam Zain al Abidin alayhi salam said in a Sahih al Sajjadiya, I am the least of the least, and the lowest of the lowest. I am even smaller than an atom. The infallible Imam said that he was smaller than the smallest thing in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If this is what our beloved Imam says about himself. What should we say about ourselves? Respected viewers, brothers and sisters in Islam, we reach the end of our show for now. Thank you very much indeed for watching and don't forget the dua to hasten the reappearance of the Master of our time, His Majesty Imam Al Mahdi may Allah hasten his reappearance. Stay tuned for more morals. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.